Okay, and now you can see that fairly simply we created these uh, really nice green screen or chroma key effects, and that's all all three. Uh, that one, as I go across the timeline, Lucy in front of Brontosaurus and Colin in front of the uh, T-Rex. I'm going to go back to the first one, the introductory one. For as good as it is, we can even make it better. Now, there is a slight blurring, but that has nothing to do with Final Cut. That's more or less uh, the camcorder I was using. But outside of that, we can still make this nicer. So I want to show you some tools uh, for, green, for chroma keying or green screening. I'm going to click on the clip that I want to improve. I'm going to come over here. And I want you to take a look at first this fill holes. And what we do is, one, I want you to look at these three clips right here. This is the one we're looking at right now. This is the original when it was just green. And then this is black and white composite. And what we want to do is get it down any sort of grays that might be existing around the edges. We want to get those grays out. And all you need to do is you select. This was the original here, and you can see, see these grays? By moving this fill hole slightly, see the grays disappear, and you get almost a perfect white and black, and that's what you're trying to achieve. I'm gonna say right about here, I have a perfect uh, black and white. And I'm gonna go on to, uh, how about I hit done? I'm gonna go on to this one. I'm gonna put the playhead there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit this. See all these grays? I'm going to slide the fill holes over. It doesn't take much. Look at that. Eh, that's bleeding. So I'm going to go back, bring it just to the point. I'm going to ignore this, this uh, overflow here. But it looks like within, I've done pretty good at getting I've done real well, I think. I'm going to hold it right about there. And then I'm going to go. To, I'm surprised it doesn't say done right there. Okay. I'm going to go on to the next one. And okay. let me put the playhead here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the composite. See all the grays? And I'm going to hit, bring across the fill holes. Wow, how quickly I was able to get rid of most of those grays. I'm going to hold it right about there. I think that's good. And that's it. I think I'm fine with that. Now I'm going to go back to the first one. I'm going to put the playhead on it. And I'm going to show you a couple of other ones, such as I'm going to go back to here's green original. You see this right here? I'm going to click on this. And what we're doing is we're helping the computer understand what shades of green are we trying to get rid of. Because if you look at this, it's not one type of green. We have many types of green here because these shadows on the cloth or the actual people in the shadows that they're emitting. So by doing this, I'm actually helping the computer. I'm going to create another one. We're helping the computer understand what greens it should be looking for. I'm going to put a third one as well, because it seems like there's a lot of shadows in this area. And by doing this, this is how I'm able to truly help the computer figure out what greens uh, are, are, are we're trying to eliminate. I'm going to quickly do this. Actually, I won't. I'm going to do this to the next two, or you can go ahead and start doing this yourself. And so here, let me put the playhead. Here's the playhead. I'm in front of Lucy. I'm going to come over here, and I'm not sure why I'm not getting the green appearing, but I'm not going to. Is it on this one? No. Well, I'm not sure why the green's not appearing. So I'm not going to spend any time worrying about it. That one looks good. And same, there we go. Here's green for that. Let me show the computer what sort of green I'm trying to get rid of. So I'm going to go click, hold, drag, and there's the next one. I'm going to click off on it, and this is trying to clean it out. Perfect. Now, I'm going to do last, which is click on this clip, put the playhead through the clip I'm working on. I'm going to try this because when I'm looking at actually, and I'm going to click on the actual one. I'm looking at the edges, and it's pretty good here, but on a lot of ones I've worked in the past, there almost seems to be glowing edges. And so it's this edge distance and spill level that I'm going to check right now. And I think it looks good, but I'm going to pull it anyways. And I don't think I'm making any clear. If anything, it makes more blurry. So I'm going to go undo. 
Yeah, I like it. Now I'm going to try. How about spill level? You know, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm not going to do spill level. So I'm going to say undo. Oops. How about edit redo? There. So I think I'm fine. Let me check the other ones. And I think with these also. Spill level on this one. That's a bad period for Lucy, so I might have to fix that. And then let me check this one. That one for Conlon looks pretty good. And so I'm going to go edge distance. I think he looks good though, so I'm going to leave him alone. And I'm going to do it in front of... No, he looks good. It actually looks real. So I'm going to take this. That one doesn't look as nice. So how about I come over here and I check fill holes. Does that change? No. And how about this? Edge distance. I'm going to go to extreme. So I'm just going to pull it and see what happens. No, it seems. So I'm going to take that, bring that back a little. How about this one? See how her hair? We've lost her hair somewhere in this process. And I think we're okay. I wish if I had more time, I would play with these to figure out why. See how around here? It's obvious where I'm looking at it. But if I have time, the solution's in here. These guys fill holes, edge distance, spill level and play with it because that's how you'll fix it up. So go ahead, you apply these, these special tools as well and we'll move on to the next step.